Hello and welcome to the 90 second tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at checkbox buttons. We'll be using the source code from the 6 tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. You can do much more with buttons. We will look at creating buttons which are essentially checkboxes. This isn't something I personally would use. Uh, or at least not very often, but I'm here to show you the info and you decide if you want to use it or not. So let's go ahead and open up our project in a text editor. Now what we're going to do, just below the row and the columns, it's going to add our checkbox, checkbox button I should say, as an extra task, actually put it within the row and the columns and just to see how it reacts with different column sizes as well. So I was going to do a div, so we're going to have a class, uh, this class is going to be button group, we've covered button groups before so we're not really going to be talking about them because there's other videos on that. And the data toggle is going to be buttons. And inside here what we're going to do is put a label, it's going to have a class of button. Then I have also class of button primary. This is just for styling, and it's gonna be active by default. And inside the label itself, we're gonna have an input. It's gonna have a type. And this type is gonna be checkbox. Auto complete is gonna be set to off. Do we need to just put check? And the last thing that we need to do, actually, is, uh, ah, there we go, so we just, no. we need to actually close off the input, but before we close it off, we need to put what we're going to just put in the input, so it's going to put checkbox1, I was going to put this as pre checked. And this needs to be a label. I mean, input, cause that's what we're closing off. And then what we're going to do is just add another label. So to do that, we're just going to copy and paste this, as it'll be a lot quicker. And we're going to remove the active as we only want one active checkbox. Is fine. Remove checked. And what we're going to do is change this to checkbox 2. Change this. And finally, we're just going to copy and paste the last one. And all we need to do, all we need to do for this one is change this to checkbox 3. And now, if we run this in our web browser. Yeah, there you go, we have our checkbox. Let's just make sure there's no errors in the console. No, that looks A OK. So if I click checkbox 2, as you can see, I can turn them on and off. It's really, really cool. It's really simple. They're essentially like checkboxes. So if you want to actually detect when the user has clicked a checkbox or triggered a checkbox, you need something like jQuery or JavaScript to check that and then perform the desired functionality based on your website. As an extra task, trigger an alert stating what the button checkbox state is when it's being clicked. The next tutorial will cover radio buttons. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk or the required source code will be in the description. To see over 6,000 completely free videos just like this one, visit sonarlearning.co.uk. Get there today and sign up for free, which allows you to take private notes against any single video. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.